Good evening. We are about to embark on a suite that I wrote called Experiments of Truth. It will take place over about the next hour. It's conceived in ten different movements called cantos. And it mystically and sonically explores the philosophy, religion, and music from ancient India. This suite describes creation from a mystical perspective, dealing with fundamental aspect beyond the material universe that consciousness is what is giving substance to this manifestation. The prologue is called Symbols Dawn, describing abstractly and through vibration the first fall from the absolute into a divided consciousness. Sage's creation is called Canto One, which is the first exploration of this consciousness in experimenting with movement and shape and color. Canto Two is called Double Twilight, which is the first moment of vo a void of an absolute stillness. The cosmic mirror is the next part that establishes the fundamental singularity, the fundamental whole of the creation. And that will be played by Justin, establishing the, the bass drone. Truth is Canto 3, which is based on an Indian mode called Purvi, that we will expand in the form of an ala, Indian development, melodic development. And we will follow that with the expansion, which is with rhythm. taking the, that truth and weaving different uh, different uh, melodies in, in a rhythmic fashion.
we'll continue the suite. Canto five, the triple path. The growth of the flame is the evolution from matter into life, into mind, and into the supermind. It's stimulated, and evolution is hastened by yoga, the yoga of the ancient yogis of India, but specifically yoga through music and sound, Nada Brahma. And the cave of Tapasya is our way of moving through evolution to become more perfect in, in our actions and in our being and in our music. Canto 6 will be Turiya, which is a state of consciousness that's beyond the material, and that will be enacted by Justin. Canto 7 is Modes of Nature, which we will musically represent in three different qualities of nature, Thomas being darkness and inertia, Rajas being progress and movement, and sattva being light before we come to the last section of the speech. Thank you. 
Entering into the last third of the suite, book three. Liberation will be enacted from our profession section. As the soul draws closer to the end of its journey, the light has been guiding it, becomes fully visible, and it starts dominating the movements back to its source, the absolute and the divine. Liberation naturally means there must be a sacrifice of something to become liberated. And sacrifice is a profession trance that we induce through rhythm. A collective rhythmic atmosphere that will fill fill the club with that sacrifice and liberation. The suite ends in Canto 10 with the ascent, which is the final stages towards towards that guiding light, towards that victory here. And the epilogue will end from everlasting to everlasting.